Welcome back to another episode of The Scran Line. I'm Nick and today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to make a really moist pineapple rum cake. You can also probably call this a pina colada cake um, because it has basically all the ingredients in that. Um, but this guys is such a delicious cake and I actually had to get it out of the house when I made it and to my neighbors so that I wouldn't eat it all. Let's get stuck into the recipe but before we do I want to quickly remind you guys to hit the like button and make sure you subscribe so you can keep up to date with all of my latest recipes. We're going to begin by adding the flour, baking powder, bicarb soda and salt into a large mixing bowl. I'm just going to use a hand whisk to whisk this together until it's really well combined. Set that aside. Next we're going to add our eggs, sugar and brown sugar into a larger mixing bowl. We're going to whisk these up using a hand mixer. That's what I'm going to be using today. But if you have a stand mixer and you prefer to use that, that's fine. Just fit it with a paddle attachment. We're going to whisk this up for a couple minutes and you're going to notice it's going to go really frothy and pale. I know it looks really delicious. Try not to eat it all because you need it for the cake. Once it's nice and frothy and pale, you're going to add some rum, coconut milk, coconut oil and some vanilla extract and mix that until it's really well combined. We're going to add half of our dry ingredients and mix that into the wet ingredients. Once that is really well combined, add the rest of the dry ingredients and repeat. You want to scrape down the bowl just to make sure that the bits at the bottom all get mixed into the cake batter evenly. Now, the bit that makes this recipe so delicious and moist is actually the crushed pineapple. So today I'm using canned pineapple, which I've just crushed in my food processor, but you can use fresh pineapple as well if you like. You wanna use a spatula to fold that into your cake batter, and we are going to be transferring this into two eight inch cake tins. I've just sprayed them with some oil and lined the bottom with some baking paper. Once that is done, you're gonna pop these in the oven to bake. Once they're baked, let them cool down completely. I'm actually going to be making a simple syrup because I want to brush my cakes with it to make them even more moist. So to make the simple syrup, we are going to be adding some water and sugar into a small microwave safe bowl. You want to whisk that together. We're going to microwave this for about two minutes. Once that sugar is completely dissolved in the water, add a little splash of rum in there and just mix it together. Set that aside to cool down. Now for this recipe, I'm gonna be using my delicious cream cheese frosting and you can grab the recipe for that up there. If you wanna watch me and learn how to make it, click up there. Our cake's baked beautifully. Now, this recipe actually caramelizes a fair bit because there's a fair bit of sugar in there from the pineapple and the two sugars. So that's completely normal. Don't freak out about that. We're going to trim each cake in half, which is gonna give us four layers of cake. You want to add a little dab of cream cheese frosting on top of a 10 inch cake board or a serving plate and spread that around a little bit. You're gonna add your first layer of cake and I've actually brushed these with that simple syrup that we made earlier, just to give them a little bit of extra moisture. We're gonna pipe a ring of cream cheese frosting on top of that cake layer, fill it with some more cream cheese frosting and use a spatula to spread it out evenly. Add the next layer of cake on top and repeat that with all of the layers until you get to the last layer. We're gonna be crumb coating this in some cream cheese frosting so add some on top, some on the sides, use your spatula to spread it around nice and evenly. It doesn't need to be perfect, it's just about trapping the crumbs in the first layer of frosting so they don't show on the final layer. Once you've got it as neat as you can, I'm a bit of a neat freak so I like to get it nice and neat looking. You're gonna pop it in the fridge and let it chill for a couple hours. We're going to frost some more cream cheese frosting on the outside of this cake. Thank you. 
And we're gonna be sticking some shredded coconut on the sides of the cake, so all around the sides. I fitted the end of my piping tip with a large open star tip. I'm gonna frost some swirls on top of the cake. Now I've just cut some fresh pineapple into some wedges. It's really, really easy guys. So I'm just showing you on screen just how easy it is and it's really, really delicious. This part is completely optional. You don't have to decorate it this way, but I would recommend it. Once you've got your wedges, you're going to stick them on top of your swirls of cream cheese frosting. And that is pretty much it guys. That is my pineapple rum cake. I really hope that you guys try this recipe because it's super delicious and perfect for warmer weather for pretty much any time of the year. If you want to grab the recipe, I've left a link in the box below for you guys. So just follow that and try the recipe for yourselves. If you do try it, take lots and lots of photos because I'd love to see your wonderful creations and tag me on Instagram or on Facebook. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all on the next episode of The Scram Line.